Today, I'm talking about the top 10 mistakes buyers make when buying a home in Florida. Stick around to the end because the last two might surprise you. I know this market has a lot of people scratching their heads. There's so much conflicting news out there. On this channel, we really try to keep it straight for you. We talk about what is actually happening in the real estate market in Orlando, great neighborhoods and suburbs in Orlando, and practical tips for buying or selling a home in the Central Florida area. If you're gonna buy a home in 2023 in Florida, this list will be super helpful. Actually, it can help you no matter where you are, but there are a couple of items on the list that are very specific to Florida, and I'm sure you'll know them when you hear them. By the way, I'm Kathy Williams, Team Williams with Compass Florida. Let's get started. Number one, not getting a pre-approval for a mortgage. This is such a critical step. You can either ask your real estate professional for a referral to a great lender, or you may already know one, but you need to take this first step so you know what to expect as far as how much you will qualify for at the current rate and how much costs are going to be for closing. So there's no surprises. Don't want any surprises. Number two, not getting an inspection on the home. That one gives me heart palpitations. Waving the home inspection, don't do it. Just, just don't. I know the last few years with all, you know, like the multiple offers and everything, it became kind of common, but I, it's nothing I ever recommend. One way to be competitive if it's multiple offer then is just to maybe limit the inspections or you know you could limit them just to structural, environmental, or mechanical. Or maybe if the AC or plumbing are older, you could add those or do the inspection for informational purposes. But this really is only if you really need to be competitive with multiple offers but you need an inspection so you can still get out of the contract if you find something really bad. You don't want any surprises after you close on a home, and so I don't ever want anyone to ever waive inspection completely. Number three, not researching the neighborhood. Don't shop with your heart, shop with your head. I know sometimes you fall in love with the house and you see it online and you just you don't consider any, anything else, but please, please, please drive around the community. Are there kids outside playing? Are people out? Is there shopping nearby or schools or whatever is important to you? Check out the area. Number four, not shopping around for the best mortgage rate. Oh, and please don't charge on your credit card or open a new credit card when you're buying a home. I have seen it time and time again where a buyer goes and buys furniture right before closing and messes up the credit and we're scrambling at the end to try to get the thing to closing. But back to shopping around, check around with other mortgage brokers because they all have different rates and costs associated with the mortgage and are they responsive? Do they return your calls or emails? And speaking of responsive, if you are finding value in this video, please respond by smashing the like button and I'd love it if you subscribed. Number five, not budgeting for closing costs. And also, don't spend all your savings. You need to budget for closing costs, repairs, furniture, moving expenses. You need a little cushion also for God forbid something comes up. You know, after you close, maybe you have some emergency repairs. You want a little cushion. Number six, not considering the cost of homeowner's insurance and not being aware of Florida's hurricane and flood insurance requirements. Florida, as we all know, is a completely different beast when it comes to home insurance. There's lots of things to consider, including the limited number of carriers that we have in the state of Florida. So finding out the cost up front is very important. I did a video about Florida home insurance that I can link at the end of this video for you. Number seven, not researching first time home buyer grants and programs. This is huge. We have a program in Florida called Hometown Heroes. It is fabulous. Hometown Heroes gives down payment assistance to first responders, people like teachers, nurses, veterans, firefighters, and it also includes closing cost assistant as well, since veterans don't need the down payment assistant, but you can actually get both if you are a hometown hero. It's amazing, it's such a great program. It will help so many, and a lot of people don't know about it. 
Also, first-time home buyers who qualify for an FHA loan only have to put 3.5% down. A lot of people think they have to put 20% down to buy a home, and that's not true. Even with conventional, they have a 3% down loan. So it's really important to research with your lender to find out all, what all the options are. Number eight, not considering the cost of the homeowners association. This HOA cost is not included in your mortgage payment. The mortgage payment includes the mortgage, property taxes, and homeowners insurance. The HOA dues are paid separately. You'll be billed separately from your HOA management company, and it's super important to know when calculating your monthly costs are what that amount is. Now, the last two I promise might be a surprise to you. Number nine, timing the market. So many people ask me if it's a good time to buy or sell in Orlando. I get this question a lot. The market here is still going strong. If you are buying a home for yourself and planning on living there for at least five years, then yes, it's a good time to buy. There's an old saying for real estate, you need time in the market, not timing the market. Real estate is not like stock buying. It doesn't bounce up and down like a yo-yo. It is typically a slow and gradual climb, although the last few years have been a quicker climb, obviously, but our market is still low in inventory, which keeps our home prices stable. And number 10, our last one, is the fear of overpaying paralyzes you from buying. Fear. Do you know what fear stands for? False evidence appearing real. If you are watching the news or even YouTubers on the West Coast, then yes, perhaps the market on the West Coast is getting soft. But the West Coast is very different than the East Coast and specifically Florida. And my friends that are realtors all up and down the Eastern Seaboard are all seeing a lot of activity in the market and prices are stable. So don't wait out of fear. My daughter just bought and closed on a home, so we believe in this market. And if you plan on staying in the home at least five years, like I said before, then you're going to be fine. I don't recommend buying if you are going to move in a year. I don't recommend that ever. This year, it is going to be costly to buy your house, so please follow this list. You are going to thank me for it later. And also, you know, keep in mind there's compromise involved when you're buying your home. So you may have a list of all these things that you want in your home. And I always say if you can get at least 75 to 80 percent of those things on your list, that's great. You're not always going to get every single thing on your wish list. So be ready to compromise. Be open, especially in this market. There's not a lot of inventory. So you're probably going to have to, you know, look maybe in some other areas. You might have to go east, west, north, or south of that exact area that you were looking in. So just stay open, stay positive. That's a very important tip. And over here to the right, I have a playlist of videos that you might find helpful about the Orlando real estate market, including the one about the Florida homeowners insurance that I told you about earlier. Thanks for watching and I'll see you over there.